Yo, what up guys, Freebs FPV here. Today's video is a firmware update on the Goggles X, and it is honestly just a simple procedure. It's the same thing as updating your V1s. There are just some files that you have to look at and find in order to update. There are specifics, so we're just gonna hop right into it, get into the computer, and show you how it's done. First thing you're gonna need to do is hop onto the CADX FPV website and scroll all the way to the bottom. There is a download center link that you can follow under help and support. Once you are in there, scroll down, you are going to look for firmwares on the download center. And the one you are looking for is the avatar 37.42.3 stable. There is a beta that you can test out. I would recommend going with the stable one unless you want to test out the beta. That is all for testing to make sure there's any bugs that you can report to CADEX to let them know what's wrong with that firmware. We're going to follow the stable link and it's going to take us to a Google Drive where we can download the zip file in order to get the firmware onto our SD card. Go ahead and click download. It's going to ask you if the files are safe or they can't scan for uh, safe files. So don't worry about that. Go ahead and hit download. You're going to have that downloaded. And then once you have that downloaded, we'll make a folder to put it in. Now that we have our firmware downloaded, we can head over to the folder that we put it in. I have my own little folder that has all different firmwares on it. We're just going to go to the newest stable version. And in this folder, there are several other folders that you can go to RTC, user font, wallpaper, instructions and everything. The one that you are looking for is the 37.42.3. Once you are in here, there are several different files that you can go through in order to update your firmware. Now, each one works for specifics. And let me pop up this. There is a readme uh, image that you can go to that shows you exactly which file goes where. So as you can see, whoops, popped up too. As you can see, there are Avatar Ground, which is for the V1 goggles and the Dominators. The Avatar Sky is for the VTXs. Avatar Mini Ground is going to be for your box goggles. The Avatar SE is for your uh, Walksnail VRX. And finally, the one we are looking for is the Avatar X Ground. That is the one that you're going to need to update your firmware is on the Goggles X. Once that is connected, you can go into the firmware file that you have find the avatar x ground file drag and drop into your sd card for me i already have it updated so i'm not going to do anything but for you guys it should just transfer over once that file is transferred over you can go ahead and eject the sd card i re recommend ejecting the sd card instead of just removing it hard because it could corrupt the files so keep that in mind and now that you have your sd card updated with the firmware file on there you can go ahead and put it back in the goggles what you're going to need to do next is power them on Find the bind button that is in the top corner right here. Hold that down for 10 seconds. You should hear a tone that starts the update. And the nice thing about the Goggles X is that they have a progress bar that you can check the percentage on how far it's done rather than just listening to a tone and waiting for it to stop. I find this to be a lot more helpful. That way I'm not wasting time or looking around and like having or like walking away and then not realizing it's updated, I can check the progress bar and know exactly where it's at. And that's about it for updating your Goggles X. Pretty simple, same thing as the V1s. You're just finding different files for it. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And also, we're just gonna end it off right here. Like, subscribe, fly, rip, dip, all that fun stuff. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, weather's really shitty over here, so I'm gonna hopefully get some packs in during the week, but if not, we got the weekend coming up, so thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Bye.